3D internal forces. All right, 3D internal forces. Now that we are in 3D, uh, we still have this in, right, which is perpendicular to the cut. We still have this, all right, V, uh, but I am going to not call it V. It is V. I'm going to call it uh, F. Z, F, Z. Now we have a third force. Now that we're in 3D, we can have a force that's coming out at us. We can have a force that's coming out at us. And this would be F, X, all right? So we can have F, X, F, Y, F, Z. And one of those, and it's not always the same one, but one of those, in this case, this is the normal force. And the other ones are shear forces. But anyway, instead of just N and V, we can have three forces. Fs, Fx, Fy, Fz. One of them is normal. The other two are shear. All right, now with moments, this is definitely a lot harder to um, envision. All right. But we can have a moment in the X, I'll call it MX. All right, we can have MX, and MX is a moment that is rotating about the X axis. All right, you can use your right hand, we can use the right hand rule. And so if you curl your fingers in the direction of the moment, the rotation of the moment, then your thumb is pointed in the X direction, in the direction that the moment is defined by. All right, so MX would be a smiley face, all right? MX would be like a smiley face if we were looking at this, um, we were looking at this beam, okay? Now, MY. MY. Maybe I'll define this in as FY to be consistent here. MY. And so curling my fingers right here. So sometimes I make this a double arrow. Sometimes I make it a like a, a curved arrow like that. Like that. All right. If this is my beam, pretend this is rectangular. I actually do have a rectangular uh, pool no noodle I need to bring. Uh, an MX would be like this. An MX would be like a twisting moment, right? A twisting moment. Very, very different. This is MY, FY. FY, MY. MY, MY would be a twisting moment like this. Okay, very different from the MX would be like a smiley face, bending moment. MY is a twisting moment, okay? And then MZ, a moment, MZ in the Z direction, a moment in the Z direction, are you ready for this? So here, th this was MX. MX was a smiley face bending moment. MY was a torsional <coughs> twisting moment. MZ would be like this. It would be like bending towards me, right? MZ would be like this. Like it's coming out of the paper towards bending towards me. My thumb is pointing right here. So let's write M, M, X, M, Y, M, Z. One of them is going to be a torsional twisting moment. The other two are going to be bending moments. All right, but MX would be a bending moment like this, or a frown. Uh, 
MZ would be a bending moment coming out of taper towards you. Okay. All right. Anyway, all that to say, now when we have 3D beams, we have six unknowns. Six unknowns. Three un unknown forces, three unknown moments. These are the internal, three internal forces that we feel at the cut and the three internal moments we feel at the cut. So if I was, if I was a, a, an element right on that cut, I might feel an FX, FY, FZ, and MY, MX, MZ. Right, six unknowns. So we can solve for all six of those unknowns. <coughs> all right, this is how two different books will we'll show this um i don't know how y'all like this i kind of like this one better and i think it's from a different book than from your book i think this one is from our hibbler book um, but at the cut we've got an fx and an mx an fy and an my an fz and an mz one of those forces is like the normal force the other two are, are like shear forces one of those moments is a twisting moment. The other two are bending moments. The other two are bending moments. Okay, there is not a positive sign convention for 3D internal loads, okay? So we're gonna go back and we're just gonna specify everything in terms of the positive X, Y, Z direction, all right? So for 2D, you have to know that, um, for 2D, you have to know the positive sign convention. For 3D, you don't. For 3D, you can just um, write FX in the X, right? FY in the Y, FZ is in the Z, okay? Okay, we have six unknowns and we have six equations. All right, can everybody solve six equations, six unknowns? But some of the forces in X equals zero, some of the forces in Y equals zero, some of the forces in Z equals zero, some of the moments in X, Y, Z. Six equations, six unknowns, but there's not gonna be that. Not like all six unknowns are in all six equations. <coughs> not too bad. All right, let's, let's, let's do some problems. I like to do problems to, to illustrate this. <coughs> 